Hi there, it's Brooke, and today we are going to do some Target tier trays. I have a basket of my St. Patrick's Day stuff, and then a few other like green and yellow and some greenery, just little items that I picked out of the rest of my decor that I wanted to use on my tray. So I'm going to use that same St. Patrick's Day stuff on each tray. I have not done the trays previously, so we are just going to do them together. I thought this would be a good challenge because it's how you can use the same decor on all four trays at the same time, but you know what I mean, right? I'm having a hard time explaining this. So hopefully we get through this and it doesn't take me two days to figure everything out. I might have to pick out a few more pieces of my decor just to like fill in here and there, but I'm just gonna try to use the same decor items, same St. Patrick's items on each tray. So then you get a feel like if you have similar items to mine, how they would work on each tray or and you only have one of my trays how it would work on that so let's get to decorating <laughs> This is going to be the first and the last St. Patty's Day stuff. I really don't decorate it for the holiday anymore. I just have a few things anyways. And between Valentine's and Easter and spring, depending on when Easter is, I just feel like I want to decorate for those more. So I'm going to use my decor while I have it, but then I'm going to try to sell it or I'm going to donate it or whatever. So this will be my first and last St. Patty's Day video. <laughs> We're going to start with the house and then I'm going to pull out my little St. Patty's decorations. I have a couple of these shamrocks from Hobby Lobby that I got on clearance last year. I have these little signs that Target had a couple of years ago. I have a flat little sign from Hobby Lobby clearance. I have this little shamrock mason jar that I made and then I made this at like was that one of those sign classes and this was like our practice piece that you make with the stencils and then a couple more hobby nah, a couple more target little dollar signs they do have ones like this right now in the dollar spot i did get these a few years ago and then i just pulled out like a yellow bud vase a green vase or green jar orange mug another little green jar that I have and then i just pulled out some terracotta pots because i thought like you know a pot of gold but I didn't want to paint them black. They're terracotta. I got some yellow flowers. I did get some cotton stems here I pulled out. A couple little green succulents. And then, oh, I grabbed out one set of my little beads here. I can always grab the other set if I want to. And then I just got these little twiggy kind of things in the his and her section at Hobby Lobby. So I thought that would be fun. So we have the house. And you know how I usually do the house? I fill something up on the bottom. So I'm thinking this. This is probably going to have to go on the bottom, right? And then I can either put this next to it or the sign. That's not bad up there, I don't think. So if I use that sign, I'm probably not going to use this little Happy St. Patrick's Day sign just so it's not so much up here. Maybe stick that there. I think I'm going to do the beads. I like that. So here's the little house. Nothing too fancy about it. We could maybe stick this over here if we wanted to give it a little more. I kind of just pinched that in between the jar and the picture. Simple little house tiered tray. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? We still got a lot of things left, so I could probably do like another tiered tray with just the stuff that I have left. Or we can use this on the other tray, so we'll kind of see how we're feeling when we do the other trays next. I think I'm going to do one of the circle ones next, so let's get to it. Here we are with the white tray and then this one we can do front and back and I do have all the dimensions listed down in the description box if I did not mention that before and they're all about 12 inches high. So we could do this a little front and back. So once again, I'm probably gonna use this jar because this is good filler if it fits. 
Oh, and just barely. So that fits there. Let's see how does this fit? That one fits kind of okay in this tray. So I'm gonna set that off to the side just because I won't have to deal with it. So let's try this again. That worked for the last one. You know, we have the same decor we're trying to use. So we'll put that there. And my butt bases do fit up top, it looks like here. How about we use, does this fit up top? No. Does this? Yes. Does this? No. And of course, this will fit down below, obviously, if we wanted to go that route. Let's put that up there. Put the yellow one down below. Put that one up there. Let's try put one of those yellow flowers put the yellow flower in the pot and we can still stick that little coffee cup behind there one second i'm gonna grab a different color coffee cup sneak peek into my decor closet so i just grabbed one of the white ones i have these in a variety of colors they're from hobby lobby i just thought the orange might be fun but next to the terracotta pots i think that's just a little too much orange for me too bad like this one doesn't fit in here or this one even those would have been nice to have but once again we're just working with what we got now that i got the tags off of these i'm just bending them so they're like half and half i had that one up a little high when i first did it i think those look funny in there maybe we give the old succulents a try there we go those fit in there a little nicer i still feel like we need to stick the beads in here maybe a little bit just to give it that little extra it feels a little unfull So I kind of made the front there. If you wanted to, you rainbow here in the back. So yeah, having this sign here in the back just makes that look kind of funny. And then even like this one. So I feel like this is just going to be our just one-sided tray. And like I showed before, you could easily put the rainbow there and kind of put that stuff around it instead. I think it looks cute. We use mainly what we used on the last tree, but just a few more things. I pulled out the black rectangle tray and sometimes this gives me challenges but sometimes it kind of simply comes together. I'm having fun using all the same decor and just kind of going over a try here and there for you. Hopefully when I edit it that it like has a good flow to it because with these I usually don't like a lot of dead space so we kind of just you know go through and decorate so we'll have to see how that goes. But I am having fun. This is fun. I'll have to think of other like easier smaller holidays that where you just have a small amount of decor maybe that you can do this with kind of makes me want to keep my St. Patty's Day decor but probably not anyways we have the bottom and the top and I don't even know yeah that's not gonna fit and that's not gonna fit so we can't use the big jar this time okay so the words do fit top or bottom so good to know I'm kind of thinking I might want to use the little Happy St. Patrick's Day sign that is awfully low. Don't know how risers would look on here. Hmm, that's an idea, right? Put that there, the little flower in there, and then I think I still want my... That's what I was worried about. I'm going to get some risers. So I like that that was on there, but I just, I don't like it hanging off. So let's try a different tactic. I have this little cupcake stand. So let's see how that looks up there. 
Ooh, not too bad. So you could have it a little lower because it would hit the top of that. And then these are just little pieces of wood that I have stained from a different project. And put that there. So now let's see what we can. I feel like maybe this should go on the bottom. So I have another cupcake stand. Now if you don't have these, use some blocks like that or something a little decorative that it doesn't matter if it shows because this is that like see-through one. Not bad back there. You don't have to get my trusty white lantern. The white lantern is elsewhere, so I just grabbed the green one. Ooh, and there's a screen even fit. All that work in it. So I just grabbed a glass little jar here. That'll work. I kind of wanted something with color. Got a couple more things. These are the same size. Basically, they're going to be filler here in the back of the tray. And I feel like one of these without the sticks would be super cute up on the top. I'm going to see if I can just pull that right off and sure enough I think some like tack or like a piece of double-sided tape to hold that down would be kind of a nice idea okay this is probably not my like most favorite one but sometimes this one doesn't it's hard to put together just because of the shape and the wire but I do like how it came together I would put some double-sided tape underneath that just to hold it on and then that should peel off nice and not give you any issues or if you had like sticky tack now to fill in the back you can't really see it so you could pretty much fill in the back with whatever you have little containers just to kind of fill that out so when you do look in there it doesn't look completely empty and kind of, you know off like you got all this space that you didn't use just because this is so big but otherwise I like the little touches I like the diagonal of like yellow here you know and then the greens all work well together and I like that this I could use these cake stands in here which I didn't know before because I'd never tried it so I'm glad that works out so yeah so I like how it turned out it is growing on me you got one stand left I think we can do a 360 on that stand because it's big enough like front to back where we can fit some cute pieces on both sides so that's what we're going to do next hopefully I don't have to pull out any more decor because we're trying to keep this as simple as possible. So here's our final tray. Is that wicker one. I do have the wood one with the metal handle, but I like to use this one just because it's a little different, but I would decorate that one the same way I would decorate this one. Once again, let's try if the jug works. It's not gonna work on the bottom, but we can fit it on the top. And I would probably wanna put that back here maybe. The tall words don't work on the bottom, but they do work on the top. So I am going to switch the orange coffee mug. I'm going to twirl it so the bow sticks out, but then you still get that hint of green in there. I'm liking that. Once again, let's stick a little yellow bud vase over there. I think I am going to stick this Happy St. Patrick's Day on the other side, which I'll put that when we flip it around. I'll put it on because it might fall off. Let's do it bottom here. I feel like we can do rainbow on one side and then probably the shamrock on the other. So now we just need to kind of fill in down here again. Decide what we want to fill in with. And this is pretty heavy on the top so I want to make sure my bottom is I do not like that. I do not like that same idea. I love my beads. They work so nice as a filler just to fill in kind of your blank areas. I'm going to curve it a little more around the back. And I 
think I need like just a little shamrock here, maybe somehow fill it in a little bit. I do a lot of futz in. You've got to see that this one. I like the way this turned out. So here is the front and it's nice and full. You have the words here and all the different colors, the orange, really works well with the rainbow I think and then if you flip it around you have the shamrock down here and then I can put this little happy St. Patrick's Day it just fits real nice on that ledge it's up high enough you have the little shamrock down here we could almost fit another one of these shamrocks kind of right down here just to kind of fill it up a little bit you can see the little yellow bit but you gotta have a little color it's not going to be perfect when you do these front to back ones but I did move the little shamrock over here and I like that better and I like how everything fits so I really like how this turned out how I was able to incorporate the the orange whenever I think of the orange I think of the rainbow or like the beard on the leprechaun so that's kind of fun I don't think I have any Irish background but you just never know right what's all in you sometimes the way the world goes here's the back side or if you want to use this as the front use it as the front whatever you would like to do and that's the final tier tray of my little St. Patty's challenge that I made for myself if you you do like this format please let me know That's a wrap on the St. Patty's Day Target tier trays. The tier tray they came out for Easter springtime is just that same wood and metal one, so I'll, I will not be getting a new one this time. So I'm always on the lookout for, you know, different shapes now because they have four unique shapes right now, I feel. So I feel that's like a good variety that you've maybe picked up one or two like that or, you know, just have a similar shape tray so I can give you a little inspiration on a smaller level. Like I say always, I am having so much fun with this Target tier your tray series if you liked how I just kind of challenged myself and went through it with you then let me know if it's a complete hot mess let me know I knew that I would have to reuse pieces for this one just because I didn't have enough so that's kind of why I did it the way I did also I hope you got some inspiration and some laughs and some oh uh, why is she so monotone sometimes and just otherwise enjoyment so hit that like button subscribe and i will see you in the next one